my face and my hair today. I just came home from a festival and it was like a million degrees out, so this happened and I'm too lazy to go make myself presentable, so this is what you're getting. Sorry. Deal with it. Today I'm here with another book haul. Are we really that surprised? I have no self-control. So I went to the thrift store again and I picked up five books. So I figured I would share them with you guys. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book is actually a book that I've read before, but I didn't own a copy. So when I saw it in the thrift store, I was like, it needs to be mine. So now I have the copy of it and I'm very excited about it. But it is Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I remember just loving this book. I listened to it on audiobook, which is why I never had, like, the physical copy of it. But now, now it's in my possession and I'm very happy about it because I'm probably going to talk about it a lot more now because if I look at my shelf, I'll see it and remember that I read it. The second book that I have is Hexed by Michelle Kreese, and I've seen this book so many times since like 2014 and I've always wanted to read it but I never ever found it in physical form but I'm pretty sure it's like a witch book or like a witchy-ish book. Could be wrong though but I've heard that it's pretty good. It says something witchy this way comes so it makes sense if it was about witches. The next book is a final book in a trilogy where I own the first two books. So I saw this and I was like I need it because I want to complete my trilogy so it makes me feel like I actually accomplished things in my life. Have I read the first two books? No, but that's besides the point. It's The Last Star by Rick Yancey. This is the third and final book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. So now that I have all three books, that's my excuse to marathon this series. So hold me to it. The fourth book that I picked up is The Nowhere Man by Greg Hewitt, and this is the second book in the Orphan X trilogy. I have had the first one for the longest time. Have I read it yet? No. Again, besides the point. The point is, I now have the second book. I'm pretty sure the third book came out a little while ago. So, you know, if I ever find the third book, then I can marathon the trilogy and it can be a grand old time. And then the final book that I have I'm actually really excited about because I've never read this author but everybody seems to love her and it is Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. She wrote like Little Big Lies. Everybody seems to love those books so I saw this and it's literally in like perfect condition so I was like neat. So <laughs> now I have it. And I'm pretty sure this is like a fairly new book as well. So I'm very excited because your girl is always behind on the times. So maybe I can be kind of caught up, but... Realistically, I'm probably not going to read this book for another two years, so... Am I really caught up? Not really. Alright guys, so that was my little haul for today. Uh, let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!